Hey guys, Dad Tries, and today I have The Engineer. Note the spelling though, and check out the ragdoll of your character here because it's 100% pure foreshadowing. Also, if you're going to try and pick up the game, you definitely won't find it if you spell Engineer correctly, so have fun with that. I think the best way I can describe The Engineer is probably Polybridge meets Human Fall Flat. And I say that with the utmost respect for both games and what they are. I grabbed the Engineer on sale for $13.49 and its normal price is $15. And at the time of recording, I have about 10 hours of play into it. And even some of those hours, probably two hours of that, have actually been with my son. He had so much fun watching me play this. Um, he laughed hysterically anytime I fell off of one of my structures or anytime anything just didn't work out or a structure fell down. He just had so much fun watching the physics of the game. Um, and it was actually really fun explaining to him why I was doing what I'm doing as far as making braces and how I made my structures and my general thought around how I was doing whatever particular mission it was. He just was really super intrigued about it, which is awesome. But I'm so bad at this game that none of it made sense anyways, but it's fine. He didn't He didn't care. He had a lot of fun, um, and therefore, I had a bunch of fun with it as well. As far as performance goes, it ran really well. I didn't have any issues. Everything was pretty snappy about loading. I didn't really experience too many bugs. Everything was surprisingly very well put together. And I say that not because I don't trust the developer or anything like that, which is PD Turf, by the way. I say that because these types of physics-based games have a tendency to kind of get carried away and maybe you'll try and place something where it collides with another object and then both things go flying and it messes with everything. But no, this, this actually went extremely smoothly. The guys that made this game are actual structural engineers and you can tell. And it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is if you're looking for a game that's accurate, to structural engineering as goofy as it looks you can apply real world physics and your structures will be successful or unsuccessful depending on how well you can apply those principles on the downside if you're looking for something relaxing to play this isn't it it looks relaxing it looks fun but let me tell you the guy that you control your ragdoll physics and the way you have to control your arms and grabbing terrible i had such a hard time with that i actually like kind of almost rolled my eyes anytime I had to actually control the engineer character. The climbing is terrible. I mean, and I think it's supposed to be that way, but it was frustrating. I really didn't look forward to any scenario that I had to like climb or go over obstacles. I mean, some of the things I can understand, like I had to put him on a cart once and he had to stay on it. Like that's, that's fine, but I got really sick of controlling him. The controls for him are just so bad and it, I did not like that at all. Also placing the objects, so as you're building, that's that's rather tedious. There's every way imaginable you can rotate, shrink, resize, and move an object, which is great. It sounds good while I'm talking about it, but once you're in the game and trying to do it, it's very frustrating to get it exactly the way you want it to. So after a while, you're just kind of exhausted and it's just a, a good enough approach. But the game's physics are so real that good enough doesn't cut it on most of these maps. You have to very meticulously place every piece if you're going to be successful on some of the harder missions. And that was kind of a turnoff to me because I, I didn't want to actually be like performing any calculations or brushing up on the Pythagorean theorem. No, I just want a relaxing game, but I'm not everyone. And I understand that. So from a top-down global perspective, this game is fantastic. I mean, they did a really good job at everything that they've included in the game. And I especially want to point out that the soundtrack is really good. The soundtrack slaps, but it needs it needs a few more songs. But what they've got in there right now is super good. Um, I, I found myself bopping to it a little bit. Another thing I need to point out is that um, it is not going to run on the Steam Deck with the controller option just don't bother there's no no feasible way this would ever work with a controller so mouse and keyboard is your only option if you're going to play on the steam deck plug it into a dock and do it that way else you'll have a very miserable time it's definitely worth noting that there's a demo for this game and the demo content is actually pretty generous in my opinion 
it encompasses the entire tutorial, which is voice acted beautifully. I don't know how much they paid the guy who did the voice acting, but I could sit around and listen to that guy tell me how to do stuff all day long. I don't know who he is, but fantastic job. But it also includes the first two map sets, which includes, I want to say it's like 15 different challenges. And they're they're pretty good. They're they're basic ones and kind of a confidence booster. And then once you purchase the game to get onto the third set of challenges, that's when it kind of really starts to ramp up on you and you start realizing, at least for me, I realized I was in way over my head and this game was a lot more in-depth and complicated than I realized. But that is certainly not every mission. You can jump around to some of the levels and play some of the easier ones as you go through. So, I mean, the levels range in difficulty from... No brainer, super easy to absolute rage inducing. I'm seeing red. I need to walk away. It is a single player only game, which is probably for the best because I don't think my friends would let me play this game with them anyways, because they, they know that they would get halfway through a structure and I would knock it down because that's the kind of friend I am. And somewhere out there, someone's listening to this thinking, yeah, me too. And I feel you, man. I get it. But anyways. There's no need to pause it. You can just walk away at any time. I mean, unless you're like mid-simulation, then you might miss it, but you can always just start it over, so no big deal there. And as another positive note, my son really liked watching it. He's four years old, so he really enjoyed it when I fell off of towers and stuff. So I might play it some more just for that reason alone. He liked watching it, so that's cool. But I'm kind of at a point now where it's feeling like work. The building aspect to it is tedious and by the time I was done playing and I saw the next challenge and I started looking and mentally picturing the things I was going to have to do to be successful and I just said, no, I, I'm all done. I don't want to anymore. This game really does require a lot of mental stamina and I just don't have it most nights. So that's, that's probably why this isn't going to be on the top of my list, but for what it is, and if you are someone who would really enjoy a physics simulator with building and ragdoll physics and a tune that you can control, it's really well done. I can't complain about the game at all. It's really well done. It's just not necessarily for me, I found out. But you don't really have to take my word for it. Go and play the demo. Listen to the man tell you how to play the game. And I think if nothing else, the demo is definitely worth playing. It's free, so you're not going to lose anything, and it's a lot of fun. But once you get past the demo and into some of the harder challenges, that's when it starts to feel like work, at least for me. It was tedious. It was just, I found myself retrying over and over on a lot of these things. And by the end of it, I was just mad and ready to play something else. So that's my two cents. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Toss me a like if you got this far. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I love all the comments. Thank you so much for all the support I've been getting. I hope everyone had a fantastic new year. And here's to a great 2024. I know that there's going to be some pretty sweet games coming out this year. I can't wait to try every single one that I have time for. And um, I know it'll never be enough. I'll never get enough games in. I'll never have my fill. But damn it, I will play the ones that I can. And if you see one that's coming out that you think I would like, a new release that needs a review, send it my way. I'll take a look. I would love to do a review on it. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Let's test it out. Think so? All right.